What do we know about the historical accounts of men who performed as women in native societies throughout North and South America? The work of Pete Segal and Michael J. Horswell reveals that their roles and place in society varied according to place, culture, and time. Men who performed as women sometimes lived their lives carrying out both masculine and feminine roles. Some also led ceremonies, carried supplies for soldiers, and maintained temple grounds. Richard Trexler acknowledges there is an account of a person who stands as an exception to these roles. Trexler describes problematically a quote transvestite Chichimeca warrior who fought against the Spanish conquistadors in Quetzal in 1530, which was located somewhere in the northeastern Lake Chapala Basin in present-day Jalisco. It may be the only 16th century colonial Mexican account we have of a biologically born male warrior engaging the Spaniards in hand-to-hand -hand combat while wearing women's clothing. See part 2 for more. In February 1530, the Coca indigenous people mounted a counter assault against the armies of Nuno de Guzman and his native allies during his campaign to conquer central western Mexico, or Nueva Galicia. This battle of resistance took place at Quetzal, northeast of Lake Chapala. According to a letter Guzman sent to the Spanish Audiencia, he was amazed that the last warrior standing was a man who wore a woman's habit. After being subdued, the warrior revealed being brought up as a woman since childhood, which led Guzman to order the fighter to be executed by being burned alive. Perhaps we can say this is the only 16th century account we have of a trans warrior who fought against the Spaniards, but historians and academics and other disciplines warn not so fast, because it would be unfair for us to put modern day gender labels on people who never used them in the past. Nevertheless, this account stands as a testament to the diverse ways our ancestors conceptualized gender customs.